be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another adult video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a compressor on a kick drum to make the trick, the, the kick drum bang, okay, in the mix. So I had this basic loop that I've been working on. I'll let you hear that. And then we'll put a compressor on there. I'll explain the compressor and then show you what you could do to make the kick punch harder in the mix. Let's check it out. So that's the vibe we got going on here. Basically, I'm gonna go over here to the kick, go to our audio effects, and then scroll down to dynamics, compressor, and put stereo. And this is the stock compressor, and I like this stock compressor just because it kind of shows everything. Um, it has a threshold here. The, th the threshold is at what point the um, compressor is going to actually start activating you have the ratio is just like how much of the compressor is going to be uh operating on your you know whatever channel you have you have a makeup gain you can push this up to add more bump to it you got your knee um kind of curves it off the signal here the attack is how fast the signal is going to actually come and be uh, you know affected by the compressor and the release is how slow the compressor is going to stop working basically. So one of the first things I'll do is play around with the, uh, the threshold. cool so now let's just check it out um before and after this is before this is after And basically what you want to do is kind of play around with the knobs to get the actual sound you want. But understanding that the threshold is going to be at what point. And if you think about the, the you know, DBs, at what point, you know what I'm saying, the signal comes through. So the signal's coming through. Let's say you want it to like really start activating. How I have it set up is like around negative what pipe. You know, you're like negative 35 so like the threshold's down here on the level meter so when this comes in the signal boom as soon as it hits right there if the compressor starts working before it even gets up to zero db or whatever so it's kind of like a hard compression on it just to make it pop out in the mix then the the uh the ratio we got 2.3 over 1 so that means like basically for every, just think about signal flow. Every bit of uh, every bit of the signal that's coming in, you know, what I'm saying it's it's pretty much just a ratio. I'm not gonna go make this too deep. Another thing I want to point out though is this: the limiter when I turn that on and turn the threshold like to negative 
point five, what that did is prevented it from clipping. So like if I had turned this clip uh, limiter off, it's gonna clip. Actually pretty bad. So that's why I kind of like this classic um, compressor. And this is good too. Like say if you want to, to just maybe even come with a, uh, a drum kit or whatever, you can, you know, bring in a drum and then manipulate the sound through compression to kind of make it your own. I'll say that's a lot different of a kick than this. At least a lot more punchier kick. But anyway, y'all, make sure that you get subscribed to the channel. I'm going to be dropping a lot more videos, um, you know, going forward. Um, obviously there's a lot of videos on the channel. If you didn't know, if you're new, about, about about thousand plus videos on the channel already. You can also go to my website, beatmakingbasics.com and check out just the different tutorials and, uh, courses that we offer there. We got courses, we got, um, royalty free sound kits and loops that you can download. We got mixing templates that you can use in Logic Pro. This helps you, you know, speed up the process when it comes to your, uh, beat mixing process. A lot of dope stuff, man. And you can also join the channel. We got something called Channel Perks. It's under five bucks, man. You know, you can pretty much just get access to exclusive content and stuff like that that way as well. But definitely head over to my website. You definitely got some dope stuff there for you, especially if you're a beginner. But if you want more videos like this, just let me know. Appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video to come. Peace.